All right, three simple ways to improve your immune system to help fight the coronavirus. All right, so you're probably asking yourself, how can I help prevent myself from getting coronavirus? And the simplest way to do so is to help improve your own immune system, to help boost it and ensure that it's strong enough to fight it in case you come in contact with somebody that has the virus. So there's three very simple ways that you can do this. Two of them are lifestyle, and the third one's gonna be a supplement regimen. So the first one is make sure you're getting adequate sleep. Sleep is the most important thing for helping your body stay healthy, recover, and fight off any illnesses. The National Sleep Institute in the US actually advises that adults get between a minimum of six and nine hours of sleep every night, not just two or three nights a week, every night of the week. So what this is gonna allow your body to do is get into a parasympathetic state and when it's actually building up immunities to fight any kind of bacteria or in this case, a virus from infecting it. Uh, so when you're actually sleeping, we have two main phases of sleep that you really need to get, but they don't come until you get more sleep throughout the night. Those are your deep sleep and your rapid eye movement or REM sleep. So in order for you to actually get proper health uh, benefits from sleep, you have to be able to go through both of these phases of sleep. So the biggest thing to do to help boost your own immune system is get more sleep every night. The best thing to do is go to bed at 10 p.m. and then sleep until 6 or 8 a.m. if you're able to. The biggest reason for this is that every hour of sleep that you get before midnight is like putting money in the bank and earning interest on it. It's going to become better and better for you. Now, the second way to combat the coronavirus and boost your immune system is reduce stress. Now, yes, it's stressful knowing that, oh, there's this big bug going around the world that's getting people sick and it's killing people. Now, if you actually look at the numbers behind it, there's a lot more people recovering from the virus than there are dying from it. That's good news for everybody. So the biggest thing I would say is turn off the news, stop listening to it for the most part because it's just fear mongering for views and for clicks. They're using headlines that are gonna get you interested, hit that fight or flight response in you, and you're gonna be watching and tuning in more. Now the worst thing you can do right before you go to bed is watch the 11 o'clock news. The biggest reason for this is that's where you're gonna get the roundup of all the crap stories throughout the day. These are gonna be the worst of the worst stories that they start the news hour off with. Last night, for example, every news source started off with the number of deaths and new cases of COVID-19 instead of how many people are recovering from it. Give us some good news, not just the negative news. So biggest thing you can do to help reduce your stress is stop watching the news. Don't tune into half of your Facebook news feed uh, and even taking a look at newspapers, just avoid it. Stress suppresses your immune system. So whenever you're taking on this added stress of worrying about it, you're gonna just cause yourself more angst to do with it. What this is gonna do is increase your production of cortisol and cortisol suppresses your immune system. Your immune system is everything when it comes to combating the coronavirus and any sickness. So if you're constantly suppressing it, it's gonna become more susceptible to invasion or to being infected by the virus. So the best thing you can do to also help reduce stress other than stop watching the news is take some time to just relax. Get some me time, some time to enjoy an, an activity you like, hit the gym to help reduce your stress, get some endorphins going, get it so that you're actually enjoying life. Don't be living your life in constant fear of getting an illness. Now onto the supplement regimen to help shore up your immune system. There's four main supplements that I would recommend when it comes to helping to improve your immune system. This is on top of eating a high nutritious and very high quality dietary intake of fruits and veggies, meat. Now, the number one thing I would say is get a high quality multivitamin. As I discussed in the Foundation 5 video, which I'll put up here, uh, a multivitamin is gonna help shore up your defense. It's gonna help to ensure that you don't get any nutrition or micronutrient deficiencies. This is gonna to help to keep it so that your body is kind of, any kind of hole that builds up in it from what you're eating, it helps to create, it helps to create a stronger wall against anything from penetrating into you. The second 
big thing that I would put in is vitamin D, especially at this time of year. If you're living in Northern Europe, Canada, the Northern US, Russia, you're not going to be able to make vitamin D on your own at this time of year. We don't get enough direct intense sunlight on our skin over enough skin surface area that's going to help us produce vitamin D. That's why during the summer, get outside, get some vitamin D. Right now, you need to supplement with vitamin D3. The best way to do this is with the drops. Uh, vitamin D3 has been shown for years to be excellent for your immune system. The third supplement I would recommend is a high quality zinc. Zinc's been shown to help reduce the severity of various viruses like the flu and the cold and other uh, bacterial infections. So zinc is one of those minerals that it's fairly easy to get, but you wanna make sure that you're getting a high quality one. You want a chelated form. The best ones to get are a picolinate or a glycinate form when you're looking for something that's readily absorbed into your body. And overall, zinc's a fairly cheap uh, mineral supplement to actually purchase. Now the fourth one uh, of the supplements that I recommend is a high quality, high dose vitamin C. Now the best way to do this is intravenously because then it's just straight into your system. Uh, but a way of dosing vitamin C orally is you take in as much as you can basically stomach. By this I mean as much as you can take until it starts to cause you to get you end up with the Hershey squirts for lack of a better uh, way to put it. Now, vitamin C will not cure coronavirus. There is no cure for it right now. Vitamin C, what it does is it's a, it's a redox for your body. It's one of the most important ones and it's an antioxidant. So what it does is it helps to make it so that your body is able to kind of clear out byproducts and it also helps to keep it so that your uh, adrenal glands are able to keep producing the catecholamines of epinephrine and norepinephrine as well as cortisol so that your body can have proper fight or flight, rest and digest types of uh, states going on. For helping to boost your immune system, there's always been research showing that vitamin C will help to improve your immune system. So just to recap the four supplements that I recommend, multivitamin, vitamin D3, zinc, and vitamin C. Now I'm gonna put a link at the bottom where you can purchase very high quality sources of each of these. So I hope that these three simple steps that are gonna to help to improve your immune system are something you can take on board and actually use for yourself so that you can help yourself to stop stressing out so much over the coronavirus and you can live your life. All right, thank you for watching right to the end of this video. If you'd like to see more content by me, click the subscribe button here. And for another YouTube suggested video by me, click here. And if you liked what you saw today, don't forget, click the little like button below. Until next time, Coach Tony, Wrestling Podium Performance.